Hello, colloquium family. This is Emily in Kyoto. I'm at the Kyoto Sakangi no Senshu Gakuin, which is basically the Plaster Union's training center. And today is Tuesday, so、um, we have classes where we sit down and learn about history and architecture. And、um, Mondays are the days that we actually work on walls. So, this is the first year students' practice room, and、um, they are, they're prepped for practicing nakanuri. So, these are just、uh, Wood panels with one thin layer of you know, plaster on them, which will give them the grip to practice the brown coat.、Um, and so, if,、uh, if the, the brown coat were to dry, hopefully、uh, the students will get something that looks like this. This has probably been around for a while. but Yeah, this is really sweet because you can practice, you know, shikui there. This is a really nice tool, this kind of hoe.、Um, this is the thing to sift, obviously. These are fantastic. They're called fune, they're, they're boats. <laughs> They're the, the mixing boats. They are a wonderful tool.、Um, So, here. This is looking out onto the street from the class of school. It's decorated with these kinds of sketches. And this road has about what, 900 years of history. Let's take you through some of the other rooms. So there was a, a workshop that happened. To give skills using shikui, using lime. So there were about 10, 15 of us that took part in that workshop, which spanned two Sundays. Everybody gets Sunday off, so it's typically how it goes.、Um, it's not easy. Some people do better than others.、Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's great having these. Practice areas to, to build up your skill. And then doing it together is really fun, and the teachers are obviously first rate, fantastic. And you know, when you want to take your, your plaster off, you just have at it with one of these. And you can see how thin that line is. You know, this is. This is with sunajikui,、um, no, sunabai, which is glue, sand, and lime, and then lime on top of that. Just lime. It goes on really thin. Actually, this is too thick. Can you see? These cracks mean that it was applied too thick. It shouldn't crack like that. You've got to put it on real thin. And this is another classroom. We have all of our doodads to do our practice. These are typical tools you find on, on job sites, they get into buckets really well.、Um, brushes, very important. So, another class. We've been working on this is the second year class, which is the one I'm in. And we're doing kote,、uh, using kote to make pictures. 
Great little sink area. Sifters. Brush. And this is made by one of the teachers, the teacher that's teaching us now. They're all done with trowel. And this is faux wood, so we're using a cement base and pigment to make seats. <laughs> and so the main reason I want to show you this school is because it'd be great to have something like it in our country, in the U.S., or all around the world. Um, but that's the vision, is to create training centers where we can learn skills from around the world so that we can really professionally get into every kind of building with ease. Um, the world deserves it, as you know. Having this option, having an earth finish or completely earth and wall option just has so many benefits. You're all well aware. So making it to that point is really important. And to do that, we have to have a professional workforce. So that's the aim, that's the goal, and there's a lot of cooperation and creativity that needs to happen to make that happen. I see working with the Plaster Union, um, getting support from various research centers that already work with you know, ancient buildings around the world and research the skills and the materials that it took to keep World Heritage Sites going around the world um, or to make them last as long as they have. So I hope you join me and all of our buddies that want to see this happen. Um, it'll take a lot of work, but it's good work and I'm excited to do it with you. Love y'all. Have a great conference. Nice get-together. Miss you. Come visit.